President Joseph Kabila voted early. He's led the Democratic Republic of Congo for nearly 18 years. This election, two years overdue, is to choose his successor. My only concern is that we have this very heavy rain and uh, probably voter turnout might be low. And this is the man he wants to take over, Ramazani Shadari. He's on a European Union sanctions list, accused of rights abuses. I think victory is on my side and tonight I will be president. But the heavy rain in the capital Kinshasa didn't put people off. And there's no sign of a low turnout. 98% of eligible voters had already registered. But not all have been able to vote. There's a polling station inside this primary school. It's got voting machines ready to go, but there's no copy of the electoral register here. It's absolutely packed full of people inside. who have been there since sunrise waiting to vote. A big crowd of people outside as well. Patience is running thin. People here blame the president of the Electoral Commission for not delivering. They're demanding their right to vote. We will sleep here until morning. We are looking for where to vote. We won't go anywhere. Everyone here is showing their support for candidate number four, Martin Fayulu. He's one of the main opposition contenders. Three of his strongholds have been excluded from the presidential poll. The Electoral Commission says because of conflicts and an Ebola outbreak. And we know that some areas we're having problems, some models, everything is going peacefully. Now, the people of uh, um, you know, Beni, the people of uh, Yumbi, the people of Butu, uh, um, uh, Butembo, sorry, they are Congolese and they have to vote. People in the eastern cities of Beni and Butembo demonstrated last week when the Electoral Commission said they couldn't vote. But when it came to voting, activists made their own polling materials and opened their own polling stations in protest. Thousands came. Opinion polls indicate that most Congolese don't trust the Electoral Commission. And when its president came to check on a polling station in Kinshasa, he was greeted with chants calling him a big liar and saying that Shadari cannot win. Millions have voted across the country. Counting will be contentious. And many Congolese say they won't accept a result they don't believe. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Kinshasa, in the Democratic Republic of Congo.